What's going on, boys? It's your boy, Dev, back on Madden 24 Colts franchise. We are in week 16 against the Baltimore Ravens, and we have a breakout defensive back challenge. Huge. We are getting a ton of breakouts lately, and now I, I feel like it's got to be Rodney Thomas. He was our defensive AFC player of the week. 12 tackles, two picks, and a touchdown. It should be him. Without further ado, let's just get right into it and see what we've got. No, it's Andre Cisco, who had two picks as well, calling his shot. Hold the Ravens to less than 100 passing yards or force three turnovers for the whole team or get Andre Cisco three plus picks, force fumbles, TFL sacks. So I guarantee you we're not going to probably hold them to less than 100 passing yards. That's nearly impossible. So we really, our goal is to throw three intercept or to force three turnovers force three turnovers the Baltimore Ravens are only six and eight now they're a much better team than that 85 overall 87 defense 85 offense they've probably just under you know played worse than they are but we should have an opportunity to stop them and something we feel really good about so let's just get right into weekly strategy let we got to force three turnovers that's exactly what we're going to focus on so defend the short pass Absolutely. I think it's probably our best shot. Um, offensively, they are pretty terrible against the pass. They're really bad against the pass. So let's go throw it deep, man. Throw it deep. They are number 30 against the pass, and we're going to sling the rock. Weekly game plan goals. We are shooting for the moon here, so it's going to be force three plus turnovers. That is our goal. We have to do it for Cisco. We're going to put all our cards on the table and go for it in weekly game plan as well. Defensive coordinator allow 20 or less points is very hard. We're going to try and do it offensively. Um, 400 offensive yards. I feel like is doable as well. We've been shooting for it and missing it, but if we get 200, we get four. So let's just shoot for it. Um, win by 17 plus points. Probably not. I just win the turnover battle. That's what I like to do. That's what we're going to do. I actually have to go, so I don't have time. Don't have time to do the mini games this week, but we've been doing them every other week. Um, but I did forget. We're going half pads, man. We cannot afford to have backups on the field. Now, we did split practice reps, so we shouldn't have any injuries, man. We get a ton of fatigue back, it looks like, for some of those guys that were really tired. So they should be back on the field, hopefully. Split reps for the starters and half pads means money for fatigue kickers and punters don't get fatigued though that's pretty funny so let's get some upgrades going and then it's time to play man brain smith gets an up a ton of upgrades right now um i want his pass block to be better is his pass block finesse is really bad so let's make agile better so he's not getting crushed by speed rushers Pass block finesse plus two gets him over 80. It's really nice. Emmanuel Hadley. Um, he is doing really well up to 86 zone. And I'd like to continue that. But I do kind of want him to be... Like, I want to start to build our guys in man coverage as well. So, I'm going to go man to man. Try and just make him much more well-rounded. He's up to an 81. Plus two awareness, plus three play rec, plus one man coverage. So he's up to 81 man. It's really nice. He's developing well. Point Dexter gets another upgrade point. I want to get him up to 80 zone so he can uh, get a zone slot for some abilities. So he gets plus two zone, plus one press, tackle, and awareness. Now up to 87 zone. And on the ball... But now he's going to get flat zone KO. Going to be huge for him. And then we're going to go, we'll go recuperation as well. Not sure on the ball really works that well. Julian Blackman, an upgrade. Make him better in zone coverage. Plus two zone for him. He's up to 82. Guys are really starting to develop. And then Blake Freeland, just an agile guy. Power rushers are going to crush him, but that's okay. Will Mallory gets an upgrade. We'll just have him be auto-upgraded. Andre Sisko has the interception opportunities. He got two back in coverage. I think he needs to be at user, man. 
I think he needs to be at user. That's going to give me the best opportunity, I feel like, to get turnovers with him. Going to take my gamble and say that Cisco at user is going to be a better recipe for generating turnovers than having him back in coverage. Now that Cross is back, just feel like that's going to be better. He did take advantage of a couple of overthrows, but I think he will take more advantage as a user. You saw what I did with Rodney Thomas last game. Just feel like that is a recipe for success. And Dent will be number two. Rodney Thomas is going to be back in coverage this game. And yeah, without further ado, boys, let's get into it. Week 16, Baltimore Ravens. And the Tennessee Titans actually lost and the Jaguars won. So the Jaguars have vaulted into one game behind us. And the Titans are also one game behind. They're tied with them, one game behind us. So potentially... If we lose out, we could get vaulted. I'm not sure if they both win out. It, it could be rough for us, so it's kind of must win right now. Let's get right into it. Baltimore Ravens, X-Factor on the line for Andre Sisco. Huge game. Sunday night prime time. Time to deliver another development upgrade. Now, I think the recipe for success with this will be to be aggressive on offense and try and give the Baltimore Ravens a ton of opportunities to be on the field. 100 yards is not going to happen, so we need to generate as much turnovers as possible, and I think that's going to start with making them uncomfortable, and we're going to be usering Cisco and trying to lurk and get interceptions. Huge tackle. Chester Dent is there. Josh Allen's back in now. Try to take his head off. We miss him. It's going to be really hard to get Cisco X-Factor. That being said, if it doesn't work out, we he will probably get an opportunity. What is... How? 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 What is happening, bro? He just broke four tackles. He probably will win Defensive Player of the Year again with double-digit picks. So, we feel like if we miss it, it's okay. It's not as big of a deal as like an and Anthony Richardson, but we still want to get it if possible, man. So, I'm going to really try and do that. Go get him. Sack. Quiddy Pay shares a sack with whoever was there in coverage. It's a run play. And it's fourth and ten. I don't know why they ran it. Cisco got pancaked. Going to be a field goal opportunity here. We're looking to answer the call, man. We've got starters back in the game. Shouldn't be any bullshit with people being tired. We went easy on practice, and we have to keep an eye on that, man, so we can keep our guys healthy, man. We want our guys in the game. Woods breaking tackles. Couldn't stay in bounds. Just has gigantic feet. Now we're going read option here. It's key on the D end. He bites down. Just going to slide. Get four. Going to bring Pittman on a drag route. See if he can win. He does it. But we got Woods wide open. Get north-south. Get the first down. Oh, and, and Jonathan Taylor's going to have a monster gainer on the edge. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Oh, he has to be free-formed. He had him beat by three steps. The run looks really open, but that hole could close, close quickly. DPJ can't get north south. And we're just going to tie up this ball game, man. Oh, they want us to go for it. The computer wants us to go for it. We're going to. Got him. Good completion to Pittman. And that gets the first down, and we keep moving. Going no huddle here. Going to go RPO. Let's go. We are moving the football, man. And Richards is going to use his legs. Walk in, dive, touchdown. Greg Gaines is injured for the Baltimore Ravens. Richardson uses his legs, does it himself, and we are taking the lead in this one. We want the development trade, but we want the damn win even more. 
I just want to make the playoffs. Cisco's going to have an opportunity to get an X-Factor upgrade regardless. I mean, yes, we want it. But if they don't throw picks, there's nothing we can do. We lay him out. J.K. Dobbins gets injured. Devin Bush hit him so hard, he goes out of the football game. They're testing him for a concussion right now. Good God. What a shot from Devin Bush. Play action here. Go get him. Gets a yard or a couple yards because it was a loss on the last play. And now coming out in dime cover four quarters. It's going to be Cisco lurking over the middle. Got to play contain here. Don't let Lamar move. Go get him. Ah. His legs are, are crushing us, man. We've got to have a QB spy every single play, I feel like. We have to. This is like Justin Fields on steroids, bro. He does have like 96 speed, so it's like the only there's only a couple people on our team that can even catch him in a race. And not a good sign of things to come. Oh, we got him. We got him. Go get him. What? Oh, my God. We had him for the sack. He escapes and, and beats everyone to the edge. Oh, my God. He's unbelievable. Lamar is killing us. Over Probably over 100 yards now on the ground. Play action. Gonna, he's going to run. Go get him. We, we li deliver the hit stick. Still gets the first down. And he's got Truss, so he's not going to fumble the football. It's got to be a QB spy every single play. It's got to be someone pretty fast. Quiddy Pay, 85 speed. He'll just QB spy him. Good knockout by Pay in QB spy. Luvu in coverage, man. This could be bad. Make the tackle. Good tackle. He did get checked out. I guess Dobbins was good to go. Ebu Cam's in. He's going to be our spy. Oh, we can't get there. I want to do tackling on aggressive a little bit so we can try and rip the ball out. It doesn't appear this team is going to turn the ball over very easily, man. We just crack him with Cisco. He's got trust. He's not fumbling. He can't fumble. Go get him. And we get to the quarterback. Josh Allen and Josh Harper. The Joshes. The Josh bros. Share a sack. We stop them and hold them to another field goal. Let's go, baby. Come on. Richardson coming out. We're going to let Taylor get a little bit more work. They are pressing Pittman egregiously. We're going to run it, though. Oh, no block from Downs, and it's a loss of three. The corner shoots in. Rocky a scene. Like what that could do for us, though. It's it's open and it's overthrown. Poor accuracy out of reach. Something Richardson specializes in. His offense stalls out all the time, man. So frustrating. Gets lit up. It's gonna be a Stephen Fontaine punt. Put some power, put some leg behind this. They got double gunners. Full max coverage on the punt. Dent was flying in. Make the tackle, 31 yard line. Really good punt from Fontaine. He's been great. And I hate punting, but sometimes you just gotta do it if you wanna be competitive in games. Good tackle, Poindexter. Good tackle, Nick Cross. Odenigbo is going to be the QB spy here. I'm trying to hit stick. I'm trying to force turnovers. We want fumbles. Oh, I, I just did something. Just deliver a shot with Dent. But he doesn't fumble. They never fumble, really. Very hard to do a, to force a fumble, man. Oh man, Hadley, Hadley was there. Who almost picked it off from underneath? Would have been a huge play, man. 
Damn it. Poindexter gets to him. Trey Turner's out. Can have an interception with Hadley. He gets mossed. He gets mossed on the goal line. And it's going to be timeouts now. We're going to try and get the ball back. Had an interception opportunity for Cisco. Development with Hadley. Can't get it. We're flying around. Touchdown. I, I strongly think we may consider moving Hadley into the slot and moving Poindexter outside. The height difference has been a real problem. He's only 5'11", I think. 5'10". So his height, he gets mossed a ton. That was a 50-50 ball against OBJ, who's not tall. And lost, the, lost it, man. Lost it. All right. 32 seconds. Let's at least try and get a field goal out of this. Taylor, give me blocks. It doesn't develop at all. Somehow they had a billion guys over there. Why sale? This has been a massive play to Woods a couple times this year. He catches the ball, and we're down to the 40. We do have a field goal opportunity. But I think we could get out of bounds one more time and make the field goal a lot easier. Just have to make sure we don't get sacked here. Spike it. No time left. Ah, dude. 15 seconds to spike it. A couple of massive strikes to Jelani Woods. It doesn't matter. Okay, we're down 13 to 7. I mean, I guess, like, throw it deep, maybe. And then focus on defending the short pass, I think. We have gotten mossed a couple times. We have zero turnovers in the first half. We need three. So they're going to have to have an absolute meltdown in order to get Cisco his development. Oh, but Poindexter's going to give us a chance. Great field position. Had a chance to break that one. I haven't ran it really enough. Woods, need a block from you. Need the block to develop a bit quicker so we can accelerate past him, but had to wait for it. Pittman is pressed. Maybe he can win. He did. Missed him. Please. 85 deep. One out of four times will he ever throw that ball on the money. This is why they press. It was wide open. Touchdown. Walk in. Got him one more time. There it is. Catches up to him. Should have been a touchdown. That's frustrating as fuck, but whatever. They back off now. He's going to run this. Backside fucker. Patrick Queen. Dumb bitch ass. Gets us. I'm getting a little bit pissed off. Got him again for the touchdown this time, and he's going to walk in. Let's go! Michael Pittman touchdown! He's gotten a lot of touchdowns this year, I feel like, comparatively to last year. Our deep ball specialist, he always gets pressed, and when he does, we're always looking his way. He beats press at an elite level, release over 90, and when he does, yes, he's a bit slow, so he really doesn't have that breakaway speed to house it most times, but... If you can get the ball to him, he's got 99 catching mostly all the time. He's going to bring that one in. Now, up 14-13, score quickly to open the second half. We got to make a stop. We got to start generating turnovers if we want to get Cisco's development. Wide open. Wide open lane. And broken tackle from Cross. J.K. Dobbins, after a huge 14-yard run, is up to 20 yards. First and 10 here. Can't get there. We, we can't. We're not in positions to make picks, man. We're not. Hit him for a huge loss. Cisco. Does he, is TFLs a thing? I don't think it was TFLs. I think it was forced fumbles, sacks. Doesn't count as a sack. Huge TFL. 
He does three TFLs would get the job done. He has one TFL. He needs sacks, ints, TFLs, picks. Need to hold Lamar to less than 100 pass yards. That ship has sailed. So we really do, if we can get a couple of TFLs with him, he could still get development. Wow. Wow. Wide open. Poindexter needs to be a little bit deeper. Pause. Good tackle, Zaire Franklin. Keep it to a five-point game there. And this is turning into a shootout. We're absolutely not losing this game for Cisco's development. Oh, huge blocks. And huge gain. Seven for 42. We're not losing this game for his X-Factor breakout game. Going flat with, Sis with, with Taylor. Oh, he's going to be wide open. How do you drop that football? There's no one within 10 yards of you. That is so frustrating. It makes me sick. Jesus Christ, man. And now we're de dealing with third down. Because of your fucking bitch ass, bro. Threw a pick. He played double coverage. He fucking... Ah, bro. And I threw the pick. That's my own fault. But, dude, just catch the fucking football. And we wouldn't be in this position. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Catch the fucking football. It's not hard. You put your hands out and you catch the fucking football. And it's a huge game. J.K. Dobbins. Eleven for thirty-seven now. Can't afford to give up a touchdown here, man. We can't. If they get a field goal, at least it's an eight-point game. Ah, uh, I am so. Freaking rattled after that last drive, dude. That pissed me the fuck off. I am pissed as fuck. Dude. Jonathan Taylor drops. It would have gone for like 30 yards. There was no one around him. They blitz everyone. Just dropped the football. I'm still pissed off about that. There's no one in the flat. Can we... Someone deliver a shot. You need to be able to generate fumbles. This is ridiculous. It's not even a thing in this game, really. Oh, get him. Sack. Who was it? Oh, Denig Bow. DB's on the field. I'm lurking the tight end. I'm lurking running back. Keep him in the pocket. It's, it's out of my zone. I would have had to follow him all the way, and then you know what happens. I follow him all the way, and someone comes underneath right through my zone and scores. It's just a perfect play drawn up for what we had going on. And there's a real big part of me that wants to just commit to developing everyone in man coverage so we can start to actually lock some people down. Because the, the AI computer will just completely pick you apart when it comes to zones sometimes. When you play a good QB. Dude, another really good return. Just closes quickly. We've got to score very quickly. We have, we, we're not going to get Cisco's development game. It's not happening. Unfortunately, had a feeling. It's just so hard to get X-Factor games, man. Taylor, just be faster. Got to be no huddle at this point, really. It's, it's got to be free-formed. I'm sorry. It's got to be free-formed. If you, free, you free-form it, it gets over the defensive back. If not, he can close underneath. Ridiculous. There we go. Convert. I got to cool off. I'm really, really angry. I'm really, really angry. I feel like we've played like pretty much like ass. Got to get to the edge, man. Two yards. The, the closing speed, uh, the, the thing that irritates me about this game is like these pass rushers. Like you're telling me Adafi Owe is as fast as Anthony Richardson. He's not. Let's go look at the stats after the game. 
Oh, we got we've got uh, Jelani Woods wide open. Hit a truck. He does move us up to the 27 yard line. We're we are driving here, trying to bring it back to a one score game, man. Good catch by Granson. Missed him. Had him beat by a step. Had the linebacker in coverage. Now three does nothing for us. It's four down territory here. Three does not get us any closer. It'd still be a two-score game. Got to score here. Got to convert. There's Jonathan Taylor. Can't get around the edge. Would have been a touchdown. We are driving. Time expiring, and we need to get. We need to score pretty quickly here. Let's try a run. Oh, it's huge holes. Pause. Down to the three. Going to go right back to it, man. Ooh, this doesn't look very good, though. Going to go zig route. Pittman. Michael Pittman dropped the football. We had Jelani Woods wide open. I don't know why. I just knew Pittman was coming open. He dropped the football. Impress coverage. Looks like he's pressed again. We're just going to leave it up to Woods this time. Couldn't get the ball to him in time. It's fourth and one. Ball game on the line. Need people to just win. We're going mess spot three plays in a freaking row. They have full momentum. Just deliver an accurate ball, man. And he gets bumped. Holy shit, he didn't even get to run his route. What the fuck? Look at this route. Jelani Woods, who always comes open. Look at him running. His route right here, number 80. Running the cross. He runs straight into Will Mallory on the crossing route and just continues to run in place. He actually took Will Mallory out. Hey, Mallory, you fuck face. Can you guys watch where you're going? And he throws it where Woods would have been by that point. And it doesn't matter. It's a con it's a turnover, and we just fucking lost, bro. We had three opportunities with third and one, or with, uh, second and one, third and one, fourth and one, and we get fucked. Absolutely fucked. God, bro. What a nightmare game, bro. Honestly, worst game of the series. The buck has been non-existent in this game non-existent why wasn't that psyched about paying him because sometimes he just goes absent in games completely absent doesn't make any plays like that and and, and he's gone off to the race is gone hadley's gonna hawk him down hopefully hadley's gonna bring him down save a touchdown 14 points one of the worst passing defenses in the league right now they're uh, they're they're almost dead last in pass defense and they completely Shut us out, bro. What a stupid fucking game, bro. What a fucking dumbass piece of shit fucking game. We got cheated about 50 million times in this game, including drops from Jonathan Taylor that were wide open, including fucking... J Jelani Woods running in place in the fucking end zone, including Pittman dropping with 99 catching, 99 catching traffic, dropping a ball in the end zone for another touchdown. Like, dude, make it fucking consistent, bro. It was just cheat city on our end. We got absolutely fucking hosed, and we're going to drop two in a row now. Not who I was trying to throw to, trying to throw to Pittman. Look at Taylor. Jonathan Taylor, and he's going to score and make it a little bit more serviceable. Walk off, massive play, catches that one. Let's go. All right, it's an eight-point game at least. Back-to-back -back games, we score in garbage time touchdowns with the clock expiring. God, I, I screamed my fucking head off that one. Jesus Christ. We lose 29 to 21. It was a nightmare. Lamar Jackson was pretty much perfect. Only threw one incompletion, two touchdowns, no picks. Andre Cisco does not get superstar X factor. He'll get it in the offseason, whatever. Um, we threw a pick after a huge Jonathan Taylor drop. We ended up throwing a pick. Um, 
16 for 27, 290, and two touchdowns. One at the very end. Um, and we did get in the end zone with our feet with Richardson. But Dobbins was a problem at the end. We shut him out in the first half, pretty much completely shut him down. They outscored us 16 to... I guess, I mean, it was it was 13-7 at half. We scored immediately. It was 14-13. And the rest of the game, they outscored us 16-6. to Now, or 16-7 to or whatever, but... Um, Dobbins was good. Taylor, 9 for 57. Lamar Jackson was pretty much the difference maker. Rushing quarterbacks are just so hard, dude, for, to defend. 6 for 75 to touchdown for Andrews. 5 for 108 and a touchdown for Taylor. Woods, 5 for 97. Uh, Beckham, 4 for 27. Pittman, 3 for 70 and a touchdown. Bateman, 3 for 22 and a touchdown. Just some mixed in guys the rest of the way. Defensively, uh, one pick for Patrick Queen. That was all me. Um, I forced it. It was my bad. And then the rest of the way, nothing. Uh, a couple sacks. Odenigbo had a sack. Harper and Poindexter split a sack. Quiddy Pay and Josh Allen split a sack. So three sacks. You know, nothing really doing other than that. You know, I mean, Cisco got a TFL, nine total tackles, zero pass defenses, and no, no other stats. Completely silent. A loss and a development. We weren't even trying for his development anymore after pretty much – the halfway through the third quarter, we were just trying to win. Couldn't do it, man. What a stinker. Absolute fucking stinker of a game. Almost up to an 80 overall for Jelani Woods. He'll be better. But sorry, I'm 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 fucking throttled, rattled right now. That was just complete and utter dog shit what I just witnessed right there. We got Every big moment in that game, we just totally got hosed. I'm sorry. Um, breakout player, didn't happen. It's fine. Whatever. He's still a dog. It's fine. Yeah, I want him to be X-Factor, but those games are impossible. And we every time you get one of those games, it happens against one of the best teams in the league. Almost every single time. Um, we got it against the Cowboys for Richardson. We get um, the Jets one for um, Brents wasn't as bad. But against the Ravens. Lamar Jackson's a 96 overall X-Factor quarterback. Probably not going to happen. Do have staff points. We'll boost up the speed on our DBs one more time. And that's an amazing feeling. They'll be even faster. They're now up plus three speed for all our linebackers, safeties, and corners. They're fast as fuck. We're really going to have to put it together. Two games left. And we are now 9-6 and six with a win from the Jaguars and the, Vi the Titans. They're going to be tied with us. So hopefully they lose. But we essentially, with the Titans next week, we've got to win out, man. We've got to win out. And yeah, it's going to be it, boys. For the stats, Richardson has 35 passing touchdowns. He is leading the league in passing touchdowns. 15 picks, 3,400 yards. Also adding in six, uh, 693 yards and six rushing touchdowns, 41 total TDs. He might be in contention for MVP, honestly. He's pretty amazing. And then 1,600 yards again for Taylor, uh, six yards a carry with 13 TDs. It's been pretty crazy. And he also, Taylor also has 780 receiving yards. Unbelievable. Pittman's got 10 receiving touchdowns. And... His uh, Jelani Woods has 13 receiving touchdowns, almost a thousand yards for him in only 12 games. So unbelievable. Cisco now up to nine picks. We're gonna look to turn it on. Division matchup that could decide the playoffs next week, week 17. I will see you guys there against the Tennessee Titans. Tough one in this one, but we will bounce back as always. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Catch you in the next one. Peace.